Hey guys, Nick here, and um, finally, Batman vs. Superman is here. Um, I got to see an advanced screening of it, so it's coming a little earlier than most of you guys are going to be able to see. So, my thoughts on Batman vs. Superman, non-spoilers of course, so I won't be spoiling anything. Um, I want to preface this review by saying this, um, Man of Steel is arguably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, Superman is my favorite, D my favorite DC and book character of ever. Um, again, Man of Steel I thought was an incredible movie. Zack Snyder killed that movie. Despite every stupid criticism that people have of that movie, I love it. Every time I watch it, I love it more and more. Um, it, gave, it gave us a new interpretation of Superman that we hadn't really seen before. And people say, oh, that was too dark and too grim and he, he should have killed Zod and all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I... I, I I took it for what it was. I love that movie, every aspect of it. At first, I had some like, at first, I had some problems with you know Amy Adams' low slaying. At first, it wasn't really hundred percent sold on her. Um, but other than that, I had no problems with the movie. But now, like after seeing the movie so many times, I loved every aspect of that movie. Um, so of course, I go into Batman vs Superman, which which was announced in uh, Comic Con of two thousand thirteen. So I've been waiting nearly three years for this movie. And I've been getting a lot of people for, uh, for the last like twenty minutes since I since I came home, asking me what I think of this movie. Um, and here I am to tell you this: despite all the critic reviews um, on, Rotten, on Rotten Tomatoes, um, to, so today is what Tuesday, so Tuesday afternoon the Rotten Tomatoes score I saw it as low as thirty nine percent, which I think is freaking ridiculous. Um, Batman vs Superman is incredible. Um, one of the best DC movies ever made. I think at, at this moment right now, I have The Dark Knight, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman of all the top DC of, of, of all the DC movies. Um, and I'm gonna be seeing the movie again on Thursday night. Right now it's Tuesday night. I saw an advanced screening of it. I won tickets to see an advanced screening of it. So I immediately took the chance to see the movie, and this movie freaking delivers on so many levels. Um, picking up where Man of Steel pretty much left off, it's about a year and a half later. Um, again, I'm not going to spoil anything. So to get into things I really enjoyed about this movie, Ben Affleck is Batman. He was so good. And everyone hated him. Everyone hated his casting, and everyone was like, oh, he's a terrible Batman. He's going to be like GV and Daredevil. <laughs> Those people are going to be quiet for the rest of their lives because Ben Affleck killed it in this role. And you know, the one... I've been all for Ben Affleck being Batman ever since they first cast him. But the one interpretation I did have was when I watched the movie, am I going to see Ben Affleck or am I going to see Batman? Ben Affleck became Batman. He became Bruce Wayne. And throughout the entire movie, you feel like, obviously it's Batman, but even then, you feel like you're already familiar with this character because he's already... He's already going at it. He's already he's been Batman for like twenty years, and that's not a spoiler. They've talked about that for months. Um, and so, in his his relationship with Alfred is exactly what you want it to be. He he plays a little more of the detective. He goes out there in the field a little more than he he would have in the in, uh, in past incarnations. Um, he's more menacing. He's more brutal. Way more violent. He does some questionable things in this movie, and the action, the suit, everything about it, and. And his and his and the ultimate thing about this movie, why Batman wants to fight Superman, is because of obviously we see in the, in the trailers we see Bruce Wayne was there in Metropolis and during the events of Man of Steel when Superman was fighting Zod and his building comes down and all um, that like a lot of his employees die and he's there and he sees that and he, he obviously he holds him responsible he doesn't see Superman he sees the public face of Superman that everyone else sees. So, of course, it's free to interpret, oh, well, this guy's a bad guy because he's responsible for the death of all these people. Granted, Superman wasn't actually responsible. It was Zod and all them. But at the same time, like, we, we you understand why Batman feels the way he feels. So, honestly, like, that, that whole aspect of the movie was awesome. Um, and the fight scene between Batman and Superman, there's really only the one fight in this movie. It is balls to the wall action. The trailers don't barely show anything. There's so much going on in this fight. Just between, and just, <laughs> you see Superman holding back in this fight, but Batman doesn't hold back at all. He, he, he does so much, just shows Superman like, yo, I don't care who you are, you're an alien, I have to stop you. That's his mentality. It's it's amazing the way it's well the way it's the way it's the way it's portrayed, and 
it's just so brutal and so over the top, and I freaking love it. Um, and and I gotta say too, speaking of Superman, Henry Cavill, I think, is a way better Superman in this movie than he was in Man of Steel. Because Man of Steel was an origin story, so he hasn't really become Superman yet. Even by the end of the movie, he still had barely been Superman for like a day. But we get to a point in this movie where you like you feel he, like again like he's like it's a familiar face you know he's been superman for a long time now it's been about almost 2 years since he came out as superman and despite how how the public and how the government's fear superman he still does what he can to do the right thing and save people as much as he can and henry cavill just fits so well into this role he owns it and his relationship with lois lane and amy adams their chemistry on screen and the fact that like they're living together in their apartment and just everything i <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge comic book nerd if you guys don't already know so seeing all this stuff from the comics coming out we, we see aspects of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns we see Lois and Clark from the comics we see <sighs> Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor he was the one thing I was the one, really the only thing I was really iffy about in this movie because Jesse Eisenberg is a good actor but he has had some questionable movies and I wasn't all too thrilled when he was cast. I was hoping they were going to cast Brian Cranston, but that never happened because obviously this, this is a different interpretation of the Lex Luthor character. And Brian Cranston ultimately wouldn't have fit the role anyway. But Jason Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, he did an awesome and terrifying job. Um, he almost feels like the Heath Ledger Joker at times a bit. Like he has this like public facade, unrelated to the Joker, but this is talking about Lex Luthor himself. Um, his public facade is like this, like bumbly kind of like over the top kind of goofy, you know, billionaire in this tech mogul. Like you see, like you see the public facade. You're like, there's something weird about this guy, but you don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. But then ultimately throughout the movie, you see like his turn and the dark, twisted sense of evil that he has within him, um, and the, and the and how far he's willing to go to show the world that Superman is a threat and the Superman is the villain. Um, and Jesse Eiber Eisenberg did not did an amazing job. I loved his portrayal of Lex Luthor. Definitely nothing we've seen before, not from Smallville or Superman 1 or 2, not Gene Hackman or any of that stuff. This is an entirely new interpretation of the character and I loved every second of it. I mean, he had some questionable dialogue at times, like the whole red capes are coming thing. That's something I didn't really, I, it just felt really weird and out of place to me. But, um, so yeah, there's that. And a lot of people are going to be probably going to be asking, how was Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman? And she, that was a cast that, you know, I've been on her side the entire time. And people were talking about, she's too skinny. She doesn't have big enough boobs. If you think boobs and a, a woman's appearance reflect her being able to play a role, then you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. Like, honestly, I'm so tired of that sexist crap. And you know what? I had to deal with that during the, this entire casting of her. And you know what? She proved everyone wrong. I think she killed everyone. It, it's so much in this role again she kicked ass she didn't have a whole lot of lines because ultimately she's a character that, that, that they just used towards the end it's not a cameo or anything it's, it's like a, it's a role it's a really really small role in the movie and you see her and how like how she plays in to the whole story and how she how they do bring her in and i do go into a little bit of her history and i don't again i'm not trying to do my best at the spoil anything but ultimately when she comes in and she helps superman and Batman fight Doomsday again. Not spoiling it because that's in the trailer. Um, it's just um, I loved her role, and everyone in the in the in the theater cheered as soon as she came on the scene. Everyone loved Wonder Woman from everyone I talked to and everyone I overheard. Gal Gadot was an awesome Wonder Woman. So um, what else? In the beginning of this movie, again picks up pretty much right where a Batman or Superman, or, uh, Man of Steel left off. Um, we see a lot more of Bruce Wayne. We see a little bit of his origin. We see we get more in the mentality of why why Batman is the way he is. And you know, without spoiling anything, again, this movie was incredible. I, I don't understand why why critics are criticizing this, this movie the way it is. It's definitely it's honestly it's one of the most unique superhero movies I have ever seen. It's definitely it's not the Avengers. It's not like any of that whitewash Marvel crap. You know, I mean, I, I, and I'm a Marvel fan. Like, I enjoy their movies. It's just, I feel like Marvel fans in general, like, pick on DC as soon as they can. And I feel like critics are almost doing the same thing because like, they're not really giving this movie a shot. Like, and in, in my opinion, they didn't really give Man of Steel a real shot because they're seeing, it's like, oh, well, it's just a, a, another action blockbuster with no real depth. Like, I feel like they're not looking at it. Like, they're looking at it as a superhero movie. They're not looking at it as a movie. And that's why I think the critics, I think, are, I, 
in my personal opinion, I don't think the critics are really being fair. Again, they're, they're seeing it as a superhero movie and not a movie. And this, for the first, like, hour and a half of this movie, it, honestly, it felt like a really just well-put-together, well-executed movie, like, on its own. Not even just a superhero movie. It had so much depth and character development and all this stuff, everything I could have asked for in a movie. And it's not even, it, it wasn't even about, like, all seeing, like, Superman and Batman fighting and all that stuff. That wasn't even it. As much as I love that stuff, it was a movie that had depth. It was a movie that had more to it than just these big action sequences. Yeah, it had big action sequences. We don't, it showed, like, characters that, like, there's these flawed characters, these insecure characters. Characters have to deal with the public in general. And it's superheroes being held accountable for what they're doing. And that's something that Marvel hasn't really done until Civil War. But even then, it took them, like, what, like, nine, ten movies? And DC's, and this is its second movie in the DC Extended Universe. And they're already setting it up great. And that's another thing, too. If you guys, when you guys see the movie... They set up, they subtly set up the Justice League. I'm not going to spoil it. Anything beyond that point. Um, certain characters, they're going to show glimpses that we weren't necessarily expecting. So, with that being said, that's going to be it for me. Um, Batman vs. Superman was an incredible movie. I'm seeing it again on Thursday night. I'm probably going to see it at least like another like 10 times. Um I saw Man of Steel six times, so and, and I, I, this is almost up there with Man of Steel. Again, I've only seen it once, so more than likely that's going to change at some point. So yeah, with that being said, that's going to be it for me. So if you guys like what you see here, go ahead and hit subscribe below. Um, I do review a bunch of superhero sh shows and movies and all that kind of stuff that's all up on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. What did you guys think of the movie? If you guys have seen it, or what are your guys' c concerns with the movie? What are you guys looking forward to in the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's again, that's going to be it for me. So until next time, guys, have a good one.